Hi, Reject Nation. I'm Greg Alba. I'm John. Over at our Patreon, oh my god, Greg's saying this again, we do TV show reaction watch-alongs for many a shows and weekly Q&As, and John does music video coverage. And yes, one of our top award tiers, whatever video you request, we must definitely do and put up on the YouTubes. There, I said it. We plugged it, all right? And today comes from Gregory Bullock, and he's asking us to do a Watch Mojo video that has nothing to do with movies, so maybe this isn't as diverse. Top five CIA secrets that were declassified. I don't know if you guys know this, I'm a huge fan of the CIA. Love it. Follow their Twitter. Love what they do with all that intelligence. Yeah, you know, man. Surveilling people and spying on stuff. Some people might say they're the CLIA. <laughs> the Central Love. Lack of Intelligence Agency. Have oh. you not seen Central Intelligence? <laughs> Uh, I have, I'm just messing with you, man. I've totally seen that thing you're referring to, but I'm not going to say what it is in case the audience doesn't know, because I don't want to, you know, spoil their chance to guess it and feel like they're smart, too. I'm going to hit play now. Okay. It was Meet the, the Fockers. Best secrets <laughs> eventually. Welcome oh, to WatchMojo.com. <laughs> today, we're counting down our picks for the top five CIA secrets that were declassified. Ooh. Before we begin, we Love publish like new this. content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You don't for this list, ring it. We're only looking at secrets reported I, to have been declassified. I, I love how mad that makes you. It's just, foreign intelligence it service sense. and its forerunners. So, examples like Operation Northwoods, which was a scheme conceived by the Department of Defense with the government's Joint Chiefs of Staff, in which they wanted the CIA and other operatives to commit terrorist attacks in U.S. cities, are excluded. Oh, Number five, okay. Operation Paperclip. <laughs> oh, Hitler heard of this. thought that the advancement of scientific and military technologies was one of the most important things that Nazi Germany should undertake. Okay. When World War II ended, many of his former top minds fled, while others faced the Nuremberg Trials. However, this period also gave birth to Operation Paperclip, which was run by the Joint Intelligence Agency and CIA precursor Office of the Strategic Services until the CIA itself was formed in 1947. The secret program was America's mission to source the best Nazi geniuses uh. and offer them asylum, ignoring their crimes in exchange wow. for working for the U.S. These included Werner von Braun, who developed the infamous V-2 rockets for Germany. He later created technology that helped America win the space race and put men on the moon. Awesome! Number four. <laughs> Good kitty. for that When the guy. Soviet Union <laughs> sent a dog into space aboard Sputnik 2 in 1957, some people were outraged oh, like by a... the animal cruelty. However, unbeknownst to the public, the CIA was doing their own animal experiments at the same time. Really? This involved huh. putting a microphone inside the ear of a cat in order to record sensitive Russian conversations. It took several years to develop the technology and train a cat, which is no mean feat, as well as surgically implant it with batteries and wires at a cost of between 10 and 20 million dollars. Unfortunately, the first test cat was reportedly hit by a car and killed oh. on the street on its very first mission. Oh. Oh. across the street, a taxi cab came down and ran it over. Number three, the kidnapping of the lunatic. The fact that the Soviet Union took the initial lead in the space race galled the U.S. <laughs> when Russia sent their spacecraft Lunik on a tour of several countries, the CIA took advantage of this. Finding a weak link in the security chain, they managed to borrow the spacecraft as it was being transported. Working <laughs> diligently and precisely, they managed to take it apart in order to photograph the ship in precise detail. Wow. They completed their what? mission put the ship back together, and snuck it back in without being discovered. Wow. And the whole complex process was done overnight. Awesome. Huh. efficiency. Number two, Area 51. Nah. It's probably the most famous secret military base in the entire world. And yet the U.S. government didn't officially acknowledge its existence until 2013. Many claim that alien spaceships are stored here, but the truth behind Area 51 isn't as spooky as the X-Files would have you believe. It's apparently Damn. where America builds its high-tech, top-secret aircraft. For example, the famous U-2 spy planes were first developed secretly there in the 50s and 60s. It seems that all the UFO sightings are actually sightings of experimental aircraft. 
Unless, of course, that's exactly what they want us to think. And they really are hiding evidence of alien life in the middle of the desert. Yes! I got top secret. I would prefer to believe that. There's no such thing as flying saucers. Number Chuck. one, Project MK Ultra. No, no honorable mention. MK Ultra. The fear of the Soviets Oof. using drugs to affect American soldiers and citizens led to the CIA conducting their own experiments into mind control. Nice. Unwitting North Americans were given LSD and other drugs in an effort to brainwash them. And that's just one of the things MK Ultra was studying. Hypnosis, electroshock treatment, and potential new truth drugs were also used, all without informed consent from their victims. Whoa. But in 1973, in the wake <laughs> yeah. of the Watergate scandal and Nixon's resignation, the director of the CIA ordered all files on MK Ultra to be destroyed. To this day, nobody knows the true extent of what the CIA may have done. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other uh, clips I mean, I know so many sure more CIA stuff, <laughs> but I think you guys nailed it <laughs> down to the... Where's Harp? Why did you leave Harp off the list? You guys totally got it. I hope the comments are filled with conspiracy theorists just being like, Oh, you forgot this, idiots! You don't know anything! <laughs> I guess the most disappointing one would have to be the Area 51, them just building aircrafts. Where did we get the whole, like, alien thing from? That's where I'm curious. I mean, I guess that makes sense to me in the sense that if we're testing out experimental aircraft and somebody sees that, they'll be like, I've never seen that flying thing before, and maybe that's how this all happened. Uh, but at the same time, it is a bummer just to be like, oh, we're just building planes? All right. Damn. <laughs> yeah. There's got to be something with aliens, though. There has to be. Well, that's the thing is they declassified... I refuse to believe there's not. <laughs> they declassified it, but it's like none of us have been invited onto the grounds just to poke around. So who knows, man? They can still be hiding any number of extraterrestrial life forms. That's true. That's or maybe true. there's an Area 52 somewhere we don't know about. Well, I can't talk about that. It's classified. Yeah, of course. <laughs> the first one Operation Paperclip sounds like it'd be a good movie yeah I'm also just surprised at all that we classified that we were just like hey guys just FYI we took a bunch of the most dangerous war criminals <laughs> from the Nazi regime and we gave them jobs but we needed to get to the moon first John we can't oh, let yeah. we was... can't let them Russians yeah we can't make it to the moon first our pride is, is really the most important thing. <laughs> if there's one thing I learned from First Man, is that... Gotta it, beat those Russians. You gotta beat the Russians, gotta, man. You have to. That's the most important part of life. I mean, you know? why? I honestly can't tell you. But I do know what. It's not amazing to get to the moon unless you're America. Unless you're America. Yeah. If, you're, if you're not first, you're last. Ricky yeah. Bobby. That, that doesn't make any sense at all. you first, you're last. You, you can be second. You can be third, fourth. We can't work together. It's not possible. Mm -hmm. We don't do that. So I say bring all the Nazis. As so long as we were first. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Why not? They're 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 superior intellects just gonna rot in a prison cell. Yeah, man. You know, paying for the various atrocities they aided in. <laughs> I recently watched uh the biopic Overlord. Oh yeah, and seeing what they were, we were on the verge of having near indestructible humans. Those horrible American soldiers completely halting the progress it. of science. Exactly. So if we had worked with the Nazis, <sighs> that you know, think of where the think world what, would be. Think of how much better Trump would be as a president. Oh, he, he would have the utmost support <laughs> if he worked with the Nazis. You know, totally. It, it's like, gosh, Trump. <laughs> gotta get the Nazis on your side. Yeah, man. <laughs> Suppress the free press. Do whatever you want. Make up as many facts. Yeah. And, yeah. It's, it's great. It's this great. one with the cat. I don't know if you saw <laughs> my, my face here. Uh, I was really loving that. That was awesome. I'm a cat lover. Matter of fact, the day we're shooting this, I posted a photo with myself and my lady's cat called Watson. I love cats. So to hear what they were doing in these cats, first reaction was, that is horrible. That is awful. 
What they should have done is they should have put a microphone in the ear of a Nazi scientist, and then it would have been great. Yeah, why didn't they just start there? Yeah, totally. To do it's an animal, man. That's, I mean, you can't even control the cat. What do you? you know, it's a freaking cat. What if the cat like just runs off and goes somewhere? Yeah, what's it gets a, hit by a what, car. Yeah, <laughs> what's this cat can like jump out a window and just like I'm leaving out of this place. This yeah. is stupid, you know. Like, like, I, I know you can train cats to a certain degree, but I, I'm sitting here thinking, how are you going to train any cat to the point that you'd need them to to like infiltrate? And <laughs> yeah, like get the no sense to how me. are you gonna place this cat on the exact person you need and then a guarantee that they're just around for yeah. shadowy conversations or whatever? I mean, that that's horrible. <laughs> but I gotta admit, one part of me made me go, I would love to do that to my girlfriend's cats. <laughs> See the shit she does when I'm not around? Who does she talk to on the phone when I'm not there? I mean it's not an entirely why, why why don't we have this technology available at like a Mac store? <laughs> just <laughs> DIY, wire up your cat. <laughs> that was the thing I, I was actually curious about was the physical implications of that. Because I'm like, okay, you put a mic in their ear, but how? You're talking about batteries and wires. Cat's ear is not that big. not be good for a cat. Yeah, I'm like, was this horribly painful? Like, <laughs> Yeah, that's what I mean. That's why it sounded awful to me. Because I'm like, that just that, that is probably just so unhealthy. Like, have those like radio waves and shit right in their brain yeah, you know it's, and it's like nowadays maybe we could make it more palatable but back then i'm like this technology wasn't that small and that unobtrusive to where you're not yeah just gonna be radiating this cat's head and weighing it down yeah. with machinery i never saw hidden figures is hidden figures based off this it may figure in somewhere well dude if we have to steal from the russians in order to beat the russians yes USA all the way is my motto. And what's number three? It ain't as bad as the other ones. I feel like this, this is like this should be number five. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't think this is as bad as some of them, but I do think it's like weirdly this impressive. This is like Rogue One. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like this would make a pretty fun little uh, heist movie. Yeah, like being a like, okay, ninety minute thriller. Yeah, we're gonna steal this capsule, take it apart, photograph all the pieces, and then put it back together, and then hopefully they don't notice yeah. us just sneaking it back in. <laughs> like that's it's so wacky. As compared to these other things that seem either atrocious or mysterious. Well, dude, you know? listen, we have to beat the Russians. We have to. It's important. Okay, this one, though. I was way into this. Project MK Ultra with the mind control. Oh, yeah. This is infamous. Always yeah. wanted to know how to mind control someone. I've Googled, <laughs> that's something I've legit Googled. How to mind control someone. <laughs> and I just wish that they did not can this project. I mean, sir, their methods did not seem to be the best way of approaching the matter. But, I really emphasize the but there, we need to know how to do it. Because, you know, there's like bad guys and stuff. Not so I could, you know, like convince my girlfriend to have a threesome or something. We just need, you know, like if we're interrogating terrorists. Or if we need new Netflix shows. Or new Netflix you know? shows. Or yeah. if I'm trying to, you know, steal someone by making them give me their wallet. But that's not why I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm talking about, you know... Uh, someone's been kidnapped and we need to know where they're located. That's where I'm coming from. From the heart. Uh, is there, you know? I'm just in it for the LSD, really. Yeah, why the hell? Those lucky guys just got free drugs. You know, like, the half the people abducted to do this study probably got, like, a pretty cool experience. Yeah. And the other half got a really horribly traumatic experience that destroyed their lives and their bodies. Is that what Pineapple Express is making fun of? That's the beginning? I think to a degree, they're touching on it anyway, yeah. What emotions do you feel? They destroyed the files, apparently, but there's a lot you can read about MK Ultra, and it is fascinatingly horrific. <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel like we should bring it back. I'm sure that they're Listen, doing if, some. If we can get to 400 patrons, I'm going to take all the money on our Patreon page and donate it to a separate GoFundMe page. So we can get Project MK Ultra back up and running. Project MK Ultra 2. Wouldn't that be a good movie? Project MK Ultra 2. People are like, I haven't seen the first one. I'm like, it's not about watching the first one. This is about, you know, you'll you'll get it when yeah, you watch the it's, movie. It's different young adults trying to escape from the test facility. And we can use the Muse song as the theme song to the movie. It's going to be perfect. This, this is why... We are called the real rejects <laughs> because that we idea have terrible will really ideas. be rejected <laughs> by a studio near you. <laughs>
this is fun though. This is fun. I, I like uh, shadowy government secrets, even if they've been declassified. Yeah, man. They're horrible, See, but they're fun to muse about. But one thing is true: if the president does it, then it's okay. Then it's okay. Yeah, that's the that's quote. not illegal. If the president does it, it is a okay, <laughs> <laughs> and everybody should do it too. <laughs> you're in america well thanks gregory bullock hope you're doing well buddy appreciate you always checking in recently you asked me to uh keep you in your prayers and uh you have been so i just want you to know that we're always here for you always happy to try to make you smile that's why we were just making nothing but very sincere comments throughout this whole video oh 100 because uh i just want to make you smile with sincerity and not sarcasm because you're a good-hearted guy seriously bullock he is Bullock, Bullock, American Dad, that is the name that Patrick Stewart plays of the head of the CIA, okay. Bullock. It all ties in. And if you ever release a punk album, you can call it Nevermind the Bullocks, you know? What? Like the classic Green Day album by the punk band Green Day who invented punk. What's a punk? Green Day? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for the comments to tell me I'm an idiot. <laughs> all right, guys. What your favorite government conspiracy? <laughs> Explain it to us in devastating detail below. <laughs> Subscribe to The Real Rejects. Click bells. No, no. Ring the bell. That's what's happening. <laughs> and check us out on Patreon. <laughs> we got stuff.